our initial engagement with Charity Next was um, we were looking at how we could strengthen our relationship with government, how we would um, you know, engage with government more, how we could collaborate with government, talk to government, uh, challenge government, um, and really looking at how we build that. So actually having somebody who had some experience of government uh, working with us was really helpful for us to understand simple things like how do you write a letter to a minister, um, what's the best way to navigate the, the internal communications mechanisms, how, how do you phrase something so it's most more likely to get picked up or understood, um, you know, how do you change your language to government-friendly language, I suppose. The fast streamers that come to us will go back to government with a better understanding of how charities work and the unique challenges of charities. So for example, we had um, somebody work with us on uh, commercial processes, so she was a commercial stream um, specialist. And what she really understood is what it's like to be on the other side of a, of a bidding situation. So hopefully that what she'll take back as she moves upwards in, in commercial processes is understand the perspective of a bidder when she's putting together a bid or, or running a procurement process. Um, and for us as a charity, it allows us to understand much more how government operates and therefore strengthen our relationship with government. We've had some amazing impacts from the secondment. So whether it's been um, an example I, I mentioned earlier with simple things like how to communicate with different people in government in language that they will understand. We've had secondments, come, two secondments that have come in that have really helped us um, improve the impact of our performance reporting um, and our financial processes to make them simpler. And I think one of the great things about having somebody come in for six months is you can set them a real project with a start and an end date um, and people galvanize around that project so the team is more likely to contribute in that time frame when you sort of have a fixed time frame. In terms of top tips I would say number one make sure you've got a really clear project that the organization really wants to work on so be as clear as you can but at the same time be flexible so our current secondment turns out that in his last placement um, which was with the Ministry of Defence he actually worked on how to make the Ministry of Defence a more innovative organisation and while we hadn't brought him in to work on innovation specifically that's an area we're looking at right now and so he's actually been in addition to the work that he's doing with us, he's actually bringing in a lot of insight. And so I think it's about being clear about your project, but then flexible to the experiences that they're bringing in uh, from their previous placements.